everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have ordered a few of the Doll Beauty products. Basically, I've been seeing these all over Instagram for absolutely ages and I've been wanting to try them, but just, I just never got around to it. You know, it's just one of those things that just kept being pushed to the back of the line. And anyway, we're in lockdown, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna try a few little bits and see what I think, because I have heard quite a few good things about them. So I've ordered a highlighter and I've ordered three lipsticks. So I'm basically just gonna talk you through a little bit of a first impression and show you what they look like and all that sort of thing. So if you wanna see my first impressions and review of these adult beauty products, then just keep on watching. So I'm actually feeling a little bit out of my comfort zone today with my makeup because I've tried to do that foxy eyes trend that's going around on Instagram and on uh, YouTube and stuff like that. And it's just the complete opposite of how I would normally do my makeup. Like I'm very much like a smoky eye kind of girl. So I'm feeling a little bit different today, but we're just going with it because I wanted to see what it looked like. And also I wanted to practice it in case anybody asked me to do it on them. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. So this is the bag that it came in. So I have opened it and had a look at it already because I was a bit concerned when I saw this bag because I could feel that the products were loose inside and it was just this bag. So I was thinking, oh no, something's gonna be broken. So I ordered three lipsticks and I also ordered a highlighter. There was a couple of other things. I think I wanted to order their bronzer as well, but that was out of stock. So the packaging's obviously really cute, but what I will say is because it's come in that bag, it just wasn't really protected at all. I think it had like a thin layer of bubble wrap around it and that was it. Um, so when I actually initially opened this because I was concerned, I was gonna open it on camera, but the bag just concerned me quite a lot. Um, so when I opened it, I could see that there was already product on the top of this um, compact. So I knew straight away, I was like, yeah, it's smashed into a million pieces. So I'm gonna try and hold it up so that you can see it without the powder going everywhere. Um, but this is the packaging for the highlighter and this is the highlighter in Pretty Little Glow. I think this might be, now I could be wrong, but I think this might be a collaboration with Pretty Little Thing, but I just like the shade of it on the website. It looked really nice so this is what the packaging looks like and then obviously when I opened it oh it's so sad when I opened it it was just completely shattered into a million pieces but looking at it here it looks like a really beautiful goldy pink highlighter and it does look really pigmented so I am going to still try and swatch it for you so it just looks really, really intensely shiny, to be honest with you. I'm gonna put this down. You know when things are broken and it's just terrifying holding them, isn't it? Cause you're like, oh my God, it's all gonna go everywhere. So I've got no highlighter on at the minute. What you can see is actually a little bit of the Luminoso Blisher um, by Milani. So I'm gonna put this on. Ooh. That is so intense. That's really pretty. That's the thing, it's like, I knew when I opened it, I was like, this color is so pretty and so on my street, but it's just gutting obviously that it's broken. But you know, it's not necessarily their fault. People are probably chucking it around in the post office and stuff like that, and probably not being as careful as they could have been, but at the same time, the packaging could have been a little bit better. But that is so intense. I love that. So in the pot, I'm gonna bring it closer to you so you can see. In the pot, it looks a lot more pink with just bits of gold in. But then obviously when it goes onto your skin, it's more of a true gold shade. It's really pretty, like a really pretty little topper for on top of your blusher, if you know what I mean. Like if you just want, not like an intense highlight like this, if you just like swelled it in a little bit and then dabbed a little bit over your blusher, I think it would be really nice. Um, I'm just gutted that it's broken, but obviously I've emailed them and hopefully they will send me a new one that's unbroken. But We'll see. So I'm not gonna deal with that too much because I'm scared I'm gonna spill it everywhere. So I'm gonna move on to the lipsticks. So I haven't swatched these at all. I've had a little look at them to see whether they were in one piece, but that's it. So these lipsticks are 13 pounds each. Does it say how much the highlighter is? I don't have a price for the highlighter, but I think it was around 15 pounds, but I'll leave it all linked down below for you anyway, so you've got it there. So the first lipstick I'm gonna try today is the shade Dolled Out. And the lipsticks come in this really cute like bullet packaging. It's so pretty. It's got the little logo on it. It is gorgeous. It's so cute. So this color is, ooh, 
That's a really pretty colour. It's very pale nude, slightly towards the peachy tones. So what I've got on my lips now is obviously I've got a bit of my foundation on there, which I probably will rub off, but I've also lined my lips with, what is it called? I wear it all the time. NYX New Truffle Lip Liner. So I, am just, I do just want to take a little bit of that foundation off. And then, as I said, this is the shade Dolled Up. Holy mackerel, that is pale. That is so freaking pale. But this is very, like, I feel like this is classic of the Doll Beauty brand because this is the colour that I always see people who are advertising that brand wearing. Like, this very, very peachy nude. Um, comparable to Flesh Pot by MAC, I think. The finish is matte, but it's a comfortable matte. It's not a dry matte, which is nice. And it's blended in with my lip liner really seamlessly. Like, if anything, I would probably add a little bit more lip liner just to make it a bit darker. But it went on really nice. It's really pigmented. Like, you could see how intense that was. It was literally like putting concealer on your lips. Um, and it's a really pretty colour. I think with a dark tan, that would look gorgeous. So I want to try the others now because I actually really flipping like that. So this next one is called Golden Girl. And obviously the packaging is exactly the same. And this shade is... Oh, let's, let me have a look next to it. Yeah, so this is a bit darker than Dolled Out. And it's slightly more peachy. So this is probably more the type of shade which I would wear every day, I think. Let's just wait and see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh. I love that colour. So, that's my favourite. I really like that. Oh, I've got one more to show you, but so far this is my favourite. Um, so this is... This is gorgeous. So this is... A slightly darker than dolled out it's got a more sheeny finish to its texture so it's not going to be matte and drying it's really actually really nice and it's quite thick and pigmented but it's a beautiful peachy orange with like a little bit of a it's not vibrant but it's got like a little bit of a it's very much more orange than that first shade we put on I can't explain it it's so pretty and I think this would be so nice on a night out. You know, like, when you want, like, sheeny, peachy lips to go with, like, maybe a glowy, bronze, smoky eye look? Like, I know this is going to be my new favourite, and I know I'm going to wear this all the time. So this last one is called FOMO. And this is... Oh, my goodness. This is even lighter, I think, than Dolled Out. Okay, so in comparison... Let me see if I can put them next to each other so you can see... So this one is Dolled Out and this one is FOMO. Let me get all three. Then this one is Golden Girl. So this one here, FOMO, is actually the palest of them all. And it's got, so Dolled Out has got a slightly pink undertone. Golden Girl's got a slightly peachy orange undertone, and then this one, FOMO, which I'm about to show you, is more of a classic nude. So this, to me, is going to look almost exactly like Flesh Pot by MAC, which is what I always compare to, because that is such like a concealer lip colour, but this looks like it's going to look exactly like that. So, yeah, it's got that very pale, very, very nude colour to it which is really nice and I think this would look really nice with like a super dark lip liner and then putting this over the top and making like an ombre lip I think that would be so cool and so like very cool girl like the opposite of me because like we all know here that I'm not cool but I think that you could achieve that really cool girl going out type of lip colour with that I love it um in terms of its formula it feels a bit creamy actually than that first one that dolled out but it's definitely still more matte. It's not a sheen finish. It is It is a matte lipstick. But again, it's a comfortable matte. So I think out of all those, my favourite one is definitely going to be Golden Girl because that was gorgeous. So if I was going to recommend a shade to anybody, I would recommend that one because it's just not quite as nude and it's really comfortable and sheeny and it's got that sort of peachy undertone to it and I just think that'll look so nice on a night out. Like for me, I would just absolutely love that. But they're all nice. I think... You know what, I, I wouldn't say I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought the products were going to be good because I've heard so much good stuff about them. 
But, you know, they've lived up to what I expected them to. But I do think now I'm just going to switch and put the other lip colour on because I really like it. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Golden Girl's my favourite and that's probably what I'm going to wear all summer now because... I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So just to give you a brief overview summary, um, do you know what? I think if you want a really intense highlighter, they're definitely a brand to look towards and the packaging's cute. If you really want like really cute packaging, it looks nice. Um, obviously it's baby pink, so it's gonna get dirty. So don't think that this is always gonna look this pink because I can imagine for me in a couple of weeks, this is probably gonna be foundation fingers and fake tan all over it, but the packaging is cute, it's practical, the colours were beautiful, they worked great. Um, I can't really think of anything bad to say about it other than it turned up smashed, so obviously when you're ordering it, obviously like it's not within your power to like stop it from being smashed, but um, that's the only negative really I've got to say because the highlighter worked beautifully. Like that's exactly what I would want, like an intense gold. And I think that that would look so pretty as an eyeshadow as well. So, yeah, on the whole, I'm really happy with that. I just don't know what else to say. You know, the only other thing which I would say I am disappointed about is obviously the bronzer without, was out of stock, which I did really want to try because I think I've heard a lot of good things about that bronzer. So I hope this video was helpful and showed you a few of the products which they've got. Obviously, I wish I could have had more, but they weren't in stock. Um, do let me know down below if there's any products which you guys want to try from Doll Beauty and if you've got any that you love at the minute, leave them down below so quite, I can go over and have a little look and maybe try a few more because when that bronzer comes in stock, I probably am going to buy it. Um, but yeah, I feel like that was really successful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all still powering through lockdown and staying positive and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching.